Hello and welcome back to Foundation Fabs of Lushes week 7. Today for you I have a product that's absolutely magical because apparently we can have one shade, one singular shade for absolutely everyone. This BB cream comes out slightly whitish grey, sort of purpley and then as it warms up on your face it transforms into this beautiful colour apparently and it's going to match everyone. Explain it to me, please. I don't know the technology. I'm not a scientist, but I haven't even introduced the product of the hour, and it is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing BB Gel. It's definitely dramatically different. That's why I'm excited. If you would like to see what this product looks like and wears like on an oily, acne prone skin, then all you have to do is keep on watching. So I bought my BB Gel from boots the other day and it's 20 pounds for 15 milligrams which is actually quite a lot considering Clinique is usually higher in price. Um, as I took the screenshot it said that five purchases were made within the 24 hours which to me that's actually quite a lot. This product claims to be suitable for many different skin tones like the girl that's um, fair sort of medium and then even slightly darker complexion we shall see because i I'm, I'm scared that this will be like too dark for me it is described as a sheer wash of color that first appears as gray hue then transformed to naturally perfect and unified skin tone bb gel with transforming tint release technology delivers eight hour oil free hydration and a sheer wash of colour that first appears as grey hue then transforms to a naturally perfect and unifying skin tone. Tint hint, check the camouflage prints in the bottle to identify the BB gel is a good fit for you. The swirls represent the lightest to deepest skin tone suitable for this formula. Apply BB gel like a like a moisturizer not a foundation i i honestly don't think this will be a product for me where do i how what what are they on about when they say um check the swirling methods check the camouflage print in the bottle to identify if oh okay so if it doesn't match you there it's not going to match you so like if you're any darker than this then it's not going to match you if you're any lighter than this it's not going to match you i i honestly i don't know i know i said i wasn't going to try sh super sheer products because they're not for me usually but i want to try and find a bb cream that i actually genuinely like and uh will this be it <laughs> look at that like it's straight up like sort of lavender colour. Let's see. Wow. It actually changed colour look. That will be too dark for me. Okay, so I don't think this will actually work with a sponge. I do have a sponge ready, but I don't know. <laughs> How do I even put this on? In the morning, meant to be layered with under your SPF of choice. This under your SPF? Meant to be layered under your SPF of choice. So you put this underneath your SPF, apply to the face and throat all over oh, where needed. A little goes a long way. Massage a pump of gel into the skin. Apply BB gel like a moisturizer, not a foundation. Okay, I'm going to listen to the that last bit. Apply it as if it's a moisturiser, not a foundation. And I usually put some on my nose, on my forehead and on my cheeks. I'm going to do one side first. And I'm going to use my hand. Oh, it doesn't have fragrance. So it does have a tint for sure and just like the Huda Beauty one you can barely see it but you can tell it's too dark for me. <laughs> so 
that's uh, Clinique's first mistake. You cannot have a single shade for everyone. You can't. If I'm fair and I can't find my shade, I can only imagine how hard it would be for someone with a deeper complexion. But I do have to say that it's like soaked in and I kind of like it. <laughs> Like, why do I like it? I have no idea because this has given me, like, next to no coverage. And in places where I haven't fully, like, blended it in, it looks like fake tan. You know when, like, you don't rub your fake tan in very well, like, around your brows and stuff? It, like, goes strangely, like, patchy and just not blended in. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is one side of my face with one layer of the BB gel on in comparison to my bare face. I don't know what to think of it. It looks like next to nothing, but it looks like a tint. Let me do the other side. You can see how much darker um, this gel makes me. I will definitely try to build it uh, in a second. Wow. Look, definitely the wrong shade for me. I'm gonna rub it down my throat. I don't know why they say throat, not your neck, but <laughs> throat. I don't know why, but there's just something about it. I think it's the finish that I really, really like. Because if you look on this side, it just looks perfectly, like, naturally matte. Which is what I love. It doesn't look shiny, but it has, like, that skin finish. I love that. There's very, very minimal coverage. Minimal coverage. It's growing on me, okay? It's growing on me. This is the other side of my face with one layer of the BB gel on in comparison to my bare face. I do have to say that I've used quite a lot of this so far. No. I don't think it's changing when I'm using a sponge. So a brush is a maybe. You release those like pigment um, upon swirling motion. It actually looks fine with a brush. It has very, very, very minimal coverage. Um, a bit like glowish, but this is a sort of more matte version. Again, I don't like the fact that there's only one shade. And like, surely this is going to oxidize on me as well throughout the day. I don't know, we shall see. I don't think the coverage is worth it. I know it's only 20 pounds, but to me, again, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's a necessary step. If you have less acne, if you have less blemishes and discoloration, then yeah, go ahead. I'm sure you'll like this because I love the finish. I love the finish. I'm going to cream contour and put some conceal on, spot conceal, and uh, we shall see how I look. Okay, the concealer, I sort of struggled to blend in around my eye area, but that's because I was using a sponge. This BB gel does not like water. If you're going to apply any other liquids on top of this, use a brush or your fingers I guess um, but the cream bronzer looks very very nice it blended in nicely it didn't disrupt the very minimal coverage that I do have and I do have to say that after spot concealing I actually really really like this however I do think that this uh, needs to come out in different shades if you look at my um, neck and my decolletage area I'm just too fair for this I look very very tanned in comparison to the rest of my body this needs to come out in like 10 shades and then I would okay 
that shade range because I see how they try to promote that it's you know it transforms it blends in and stuff like that but clearly it doesn't blend well enough if you're like in the medium sort of shade range towards like a, a light light medium you should be okay with this i'm not the fairest of fair um so i can just get away with this but i think it's noticeable okay let me powder my under eye and uh, dust a little bit of powder all over i don't want to over powder because unlike my previous bb creams and tinting moisturizers this had a beautiful finish almost like a skin like finish leaning towards like a, a natural matte um which i really really like i like this it's probably one of the best bb creams bb gels that i've tried so far it is 10.03 let's just say 10 o'clock let's wear this let's see how long it lasts let me remind you that the claim is eight hours we shall see hopefully it's going to look nice throughout the day but let me finish off my makeup off camera and i shall see you at my first check-in two hours in and i don't think this will last very long on me um i had to put my fringe up because i was playing with my uh hair and my forehead has gone patchy as you can probably see right there um yeah i look very i look nice very very glowy but it, it's just going to be a little much and i think it's going to slip off my face quite quickly but let's give it a proper try i will blot like i always do when i feel a little dewy a little oily and we're gonna carry on that transfer isn't too bad and my face does look nice again but i don't think it's gonna take that long for it to be you know shiny again but let's keep going hour number five and this is what my face looks like does not look good i look oily a f look at that like the center of my face i swear is a lot more shiny than what i would have looked like if i didn't have this on um yeah let me blot before sharing some of my thoughts so this is my face as you can see the coverage the very little coverage that i had um it does look better on this side but this side of my face is very patchy i've got you know that bb cream missing here in this area um it's patchy on my forehead so crazy patchy on my forehead i look like i've got like a sunburn or something um it does not look good you guys um it was sort of decent for about two hours and then it just kind of went downhill from there um i'm gonna wear it for a little bit longer but i just i really don't have high hopes for this all right you guys officially hour number 12 and this is what my face looks like i did get a check-in at hour number six i just couldn't speak to you guys but this was my face i did have to blot because i was super super oily and i'm super super oily yet again as you can probably see there's barely any coverage left on my face i look like a an absolute mess an oily mess um and even though this is 20 pounds i personally just don't think it's worth it it's not that long lasting on my skin it does actually look really nice uh initially and it sort of lasted four hours maybe if i give it a push at my second check-in i looked reasonably okay i just needed to blot and after blotting it looked fine but 
at hour number six, hour number eight, it was just an oily mess. It did come off. It's gone patchy quite quickly and I just don't think it's worth it. I also really, really don't like the fact this only has one shade. Like how just how are they getting away with that i just I, I don't understand kind of disappointed however we've got one more um foundation wear test before fabs and flushes 2021 comes to an end so hopefully next week will be a good one uh, i hope to see you then thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe but for now, thank you so much for watching. You are the best and I hope to see you next time.